Secret passage. Under the manor. It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten far. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. What is this place? It's more than just a tunnel. Look. Someone's been here recently. Three seats. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here, he didn't want it in his house. What is this mask supposed to represent? This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah Hawkins here? What does it mean? A disfigured saint. What does it mean? Of course. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. If possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. Kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. These paintings must be several centuries old. This monstrous creature must be an allegory. These people lying down. Are they dead? Sleep? These buildings seem to have come out of the water. Time has weakened these structures.
I don't have time to search them all. What's going on here? Piers! Keep your voice down. We're not alone. Good God. What have you got me into? We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Table for sacrifice? I got it. Look, it can't breathe. What's happening? No, damn it. I must find a way out of here. Yes, it is time. You will soon be one of us, if your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. Seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. I can't read Latin. It looks like a kind of deep coma. What could this ritual have done to them? Again, this primitive writing. We are ready for the ceremony. What about your protege? His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly.
this? An intruder! Oh shit! Don't move! Police! Don't move! I won't hesitate! Bradley, get Pursuit. back! Get back! You asked for it! having a seizure. He was alive. A strong exception. There. He's opening his eyes. I saved him, Fuller. I... I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> What did you do to me? Undo these straps! Whoa! Go easy, my friend. You were dead. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was... he was dead. Me too! We... we were dead! What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No! <laughs> what happened to me? <coughs> Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please. I can't leave here. You've got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. You don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no! You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me.
they tracked and hunted me, pursued me right into their dreams. They screamed all over their maps in the wake of my lonely wanderings. No season is dark enough to hide the color of my blood. No wind is strong enough to scatter my dreams. don't have much time. Can you stand up? Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Uh, wait a minute. What's going on here? What do they do to the patients to make them so terrified? I would really like to know. I only see them when they are brought up for medical treatment, for problems they didn't have before going downstairs. But this is neither the time nor the place to talk about that. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. What does this mean? <laughs> what did they inject him with? Am I in an asylum? Sarah? What did he write about the painting? Why the strange symbol repeated over and over? Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. Ooh. 
If I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. Poor wretch. Dr. Colvin, I would like to say that I'm surprised to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if... Go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me anymore. No one enters or leaves. Yes, Doctor. Damn it! I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm gonna see if there are sleeping pills left. They've run out again upstairs. Put a few aside for me, will you? And above all, leave the wheels where they are. Good God. What, what is going on here? It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. Have I activated anything? This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. What will happen if I increase the current to the limit? I can still increase the load. Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. Sarah Hawkins. She was a patient here. Dementia, self-inflicted wounds, Anatomy, anthropology, nothing surprising. Worms, mate. We'll not eat it anymore. It's done. Now for the others. They must know that it is not good. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. No, 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 not six. Four, five. That is well enough inside me. I feel it in my head. What carnage? Who's there?
Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. You. Yeah, you there. Come here. I don't know what you're doing. You. Yeah, you there. Come here. What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here. Except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. And in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. Is it the noise that disturbs you? No, it's the nightmares. We all have them here. That's what wakes us up. And afterwards, there's no way to get back to sleep. If I find something, who knows what I'll do? Don't play the wise guy because you're on the outside and I'm not. Locked. Exactly what I need. This padlock is too complicated for me. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Where do they keep their sleeping pills? Scopolamine, morphine, opium, nothing but common drugs. My new friend's sleeping pills. I think we got a walker. something over there. Control wheel to mount on a plumbing system.
It's no use. The padlock won't give. The green gas leaves from here, and it runs through the whole building. Perfect. All the levers are activated. This valve controls the pressure. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. A duct. This lever must turn on the gas machine. There's nothing happening. Now for the next step. The piping hasn't burst. Not yet, anyway. That should draw the attention of the guards. I should hide. If I walk, I do not stop. If I do not stop, he does not catch me. If he does not catch me, I do not sleep. If I do not sleep, I do not see him. I do not hear him. He does not call me. He does not call me. Doctor, is that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? But the doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. The real culprit is Sarah. 
Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! No, don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it! That's how it finds you! What finds me? The Sarah Hawkins visitor! The Shambler! Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. No! Sanders! What the hell? I got it. This is insane. What killed him? goes there that nightmare again I need a drink Mr. Pierce, how do you feel? Did I sleep long? The days. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I. There are things I can't explain. Tell us, what happened? Pretty well. It's a tiny island. Everyone knows everyone. Especially since I'm a police officer and Marie's a doctor. The chemistry is obvious. I do seem a little bit stupid, don't I? <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. 
You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. Seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion. You don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor then... Uh... Then what? I... Uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as... guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... Demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins, and that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I, 
I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well. Look who's here. You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? So ask Fuller, he's the eminent doctor. 
But I would caution you, you'll find his treatments more terrifying than the illnesses he sets out to cure. That churl no longer takes the trouble to receive me. He sends his secretary to tell me that I cannot see Francis. Me. His own widow. He must think that I am a terrible wife for having abandoned him in such a way. But I only wanted what was best for him. I'm not here to condemn you, Mrs. Sanders. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Did she really care for him, after all? The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. A house of artists. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell the painting? He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? She didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. I shut my eyes. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed 
paintings, that accursed Sarah. I could use one of those. A strange Amerindian pendant. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. An old diary. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? I'm not here to cause trouble, if that's what's worrying you. Worry me? Don't overestimate yourself. If the last beating wasn't enough for you... I can always give it another go, but as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. All's fair in love and war, I suppose. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Hmm. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Why was he so interested in old weapons? What the hell was that?
What's the matter with you? You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? It, it's nothing. I, I, I think I just drank too much. That goes without saying. If you can't tell the difference between reality and fiction, then you're in real trouble. I ran, screamed, broke a pane of glass. You were in the next room, and you didn't hear a thing. If I hadn't heard a thing, I'd still be in the other room. The door was blocked. I got in as soon as I could. I like to look after my goods. You mean me? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I've still got things to settle with Irene. <laughs>